40 years we've been using Excel, doing financial calculations based on stock prices. But in the new Microsoft 365 Excel, you are not going to believe the new tools we have for getting stock values. We want to look at data types first. Here we have some stocks, data ribbon tab data types. These have been around in Microsoft 365 for about a year. Some of the ones in the drop down are newer. But the one we want is stocks. Now we have to highlight one, two, three, and they have to be names of companies traded on a stock market. When I click Stocks, it converts them to a stock data type. There's the name of the company. There's the exchange and the ticker. Now to get the full power of data types, we need to have a field name at the top and convert this to an Excel table. So we'll use the keyboard Control-T. Click OK. Now what we see for Microsoft is the name, the exchange, and the ticker. But really, that one cell right there contains a bunch of data that we can add to the table or look up. Now up in the upper right corner, I'm going to click this icon to add a column. And look at that. It's looking in that cell and telling us all the data that we can extract as a column. I'm going to say current market price. Let's see, on my computer, the stock market is closed. So if I were to click Data Refresh, I don't get any new updated price. I could select a different column, Beta. That tells you how this stock moves in relation to the market as a whole. If we come over to the side and type an equal sign and click on a cell that has a data type, that is amazing. Those are all items that we can look up without using XLOOKUP, INDEX FUNCTION, or VLOOKUP. I use the dot operator. And I could scroll down. I'm going to say PE and Enter, Price to Earnings. Now I want to add a new column. I want the ticker. There's the ticker. That'll allow us to use these as lookup values that we can use in a new function called Stock History. Now in this cell right here, I'm going to use the keyboard for Data Validation, Alt-D-L. Tab, down arrow, L for list, tab. And I'm going to highlight this table column. Click OK. And so now I want to be able to select from here and deliver all the prices between a start and end date. Click down here, equals, and this is amazing, stock history. The ticker, that's the stock, comma. We have a start date, comma. An end date, that means we want all the prices between those two dates. Now if I close parentheses here, the default will be date and close when I hit Enter. That is amazing. Those are all of the stock prices. In the old days, we used to go search online. Actually, but even before that, then we'd have to go get it in other places before the internet. Now, notice what happened. These are dates and dollar values. These are called formatted number values. If you look up in Home, Number, that's the general number formatting, what we normally think of as applying something on top of a number. These numbers and the formatting come together. And if I change this to Google, there it is. Now, these came in from the oldest to the newest, and I want the reverse. So I went ahead, and I don't want to retrieve with stock history the field names and the prices. So we're going to say stock history. There's the stock, start, end, comma. And the interval will say daily. I want daily prices, comma. The default was show header, but we want no header, so 0. And there are other properties you can put in, but I'm going to backspace and stop there, close parentheses, and Enter. So that gives me smallest date to biggest. Now in the top cell, F2. And I want to sort these values on, based on the date column. So we'll use one of the amazing dynamic array functions, sort. We could use sort by two, but I like sort comma, the index, I want to sort on the first column of the array that's being returned, comma. And I'm going to down arrow to minus 1 so we can have descending. Close parentheses and Enter. And there we have the latest ones on top. All right, here's how cool this is. 
In the bottom cell, I'm going to type Coca-Cola and tab. you got to be kidding me. It automatically pulled down through the Excel table the data type, got the price, beta, and the ticker. And down here, this is connected to that whole column, so I can choose Coke. And boom, there are the prices. Microsoft 365 Excel, amazing. We saw the sort function. We saw formatted number values. We saw this great stock history function, the dot operator, and data types. All right, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up. Leave a comment and subscribe, because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun. And if you like finance and you like financial cash flow calculations in Excel, check out this class I posted 10 years ago with 110 videos with all sorts of financial calculations.